All right, everyone, back at the lake. First playable hand, I look down at Queen Jack, Jack 10, single suited in the small blind in a straddled pot. There is one limper, I call, big blind also calls, and straddler checks. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes out Jack 8, 5 with two clubs. I check, big blind bets 30, folds to me. I make it 105 and my opponent folds. So we take it down. Here, look down at Ace, King, Queen, 10, single suited under the gun. I make it 20 and there are three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes out ace, queen, four with two clubs. I bet 70 and there are two callers, so we're going three ways to a flop. Turn brings a jack, giving me the nut straight, but unfortunately it's the jack of clubs, so I check and both my opponents check back. So still going three ways to a river. The river brings another jack and obviously I don't really beat anything here, so I decide to turn my hand into a bluff. I do obviously have the ace and the queen, very relevant blockers, and I would actually play aces just like this. So I bet 125. Player to my left thinks for a little bit. He kind of moans and doesn't really like it, but makes the call and the other player folds. So I say you win and he turns over ace 10, eight seven with the ace 10 of clubs. So he's gonna take it down here with enough flush. Here look down at queen jack nine four double suited in the big blind. There's a middle position open at 20. The cutoff calls, folds to me and I also call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes out jack four two with two clubs. I check, middle position checks over to the cutoff who bets 60. I make it 245, middle position folds over to the cutoff who doesn't waste any time before pushing all in and he has me covered and of course I make the call. So we're going heads up to a run out. The turn brings in the front door flush with a seven of clubs. River brings another seven. So not too sure about my hand, but I turn it over and my opponent doesn't look too happy before mucking. So happy to double up here. Here look down at ace, ace, king, five, single suited on the button in a straddled pot. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 50. One caller to me, I call, and the limper call. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes out ace, queen, six, rainbow. Checks the original razor who bets 140. Folds to me, and I tend to over slow play as I've told many of you. But um, here, my hand is obviously very under repped, and there aren't really too many turn cards I'm worried about besides, you know, Broadway cards. So I decide to flat, and the other person folds. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a two. My opponent unfortunately slows down and checks, and here can't slow play anymore. So I bet 325, which looking back might have been a little too big as my opponent folds, and we take it down. Here, look down at ace, ace, jack, four, single suited in middle position. Folds to me, I open a 20. Next player to act makes it 60. Folds back to me, I make the call, and we're going heads up to a flop. Flop comes ace, six, two with two hearts. I check, and my opponent checks back, so still going heads up to a turn. The turn brings a king, bringing in the backdoor flush draw. Can't slow play anymore, I bet 110, and unfortunately my opponent folds, so we take it down. Here, look down at jack, 10, nine, eight, single suited in middle position. Folds to me, I open a 20. Cutoff makes it 65. There are three callers and I make the call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes eight, six, three with two spades. I check, the original razor pots it. One call to me before a couple folds and I fold as well. Here look down at king, king, eight, seven, double suited in the big blind. There's an early position limp. Next player makes it 25. Two callers to me. I make it 135 and there are three callers behind. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes 9-5-2 with two spades. I check, checks over to middle position player who pots it, over to the button who pushes all in for about 875. Over to me, if this board was either rainbow or if I had spades, I would probably have to go with it. But here, don't think I can do anything besides fold. Um, it is kind of crappy as I don't think my opponents are super strong, but Obviously my hand is quite weakened, not having any spades. So I fold over to middle position player who makes the call and they're running it twice. So we're gonna go to two runouts. The first runout brings a king of diamonds on the turn and a six of diamonds on the river. Second runout brings a two of hearts on the turn and an ace of hearts on the river. Middle position player turns over jack 10, nine, five and he flopped top two, hit the diamonds on the top and the other opponent didn't show his hand, but he said he flopped a wrap with eight, seven, six, and he had spades and bricked out on everything. So middle position player is gonna take it down here. Here, look down at ace, king, 10, two, double suited in middle position in a straddled pot. One limper to me, I make it 50, and there are three callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes out jack, eight, five, rainbow. Checks to me, I check over to the button who bets 100. One caller from early position, middle position folds to me, and I also fold. Here look down at ace, seven, six, four, single suited in middle position in a straddled pot. I limp, 
Lay position makes it 20. Three callers to me and I call. So we're going five ways to a flop. Flop comes 10, eight, three with two hearts. Checks to me, I check, and everyone checks through. So still going five ways to a turn. The turn brings a six of spades. Big blind bets 60, folds to me, I call, and lay position player calls. So we're going three ways to a river. River brings in the backdoor flush with a four of spades. Big blind checks, I bet 130. Lay position folds over to the big blind who tanks for a little bit over a minute and eventually makes the call. So I turn over my hand and we're of course good. We look down at ace nine seven five double suited in middle position in a straddled pot. I limp over to the cutoff who makes it 50. Straddler calls and I also call. So we're going three ways to a flop. Flop comes queen 10 eight all spades. Checks to me, I check and the cutoff checks as well. So still going three ways to a turn. Turn brings a three. Now the straddler bets $100 over to me. And it's a tough situation as obviously I can't improve. Um, I'm either up against a set, you know, where he has some outs or I'm drawing dead. Um, you know, so it is a tough spot. He is a looser player. And if he did flop, say like the nut or the second nut flush on the flop, he definitely would have checked it being first to act. So I decided to fold here and the cutoff also folded. So straddlers take it down here. We look down at 7755 single suited on the button. There's a couple early position limps. Middle position makes it 30. I call and there are two other callers. So we're going four ways to a flop. Flop comes king queen seven with two hearts. Checks to me. I bet 60 and only one of the early position players calls. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a queen. My opponent checks to me. I bet 110 and he quickly folds. So we take it down. Here look down at queen jack 10 9 double suited on the button in a straddled pot. There are three early position limpers. I make it 60 and there are six callers. So we're going seven ways to a flop. Flop comes out ace 10 2 with two spades. Checks all the way over to me. And with all this money in the pot, I believe I just have to see bet, although I don't really have a great hand. And I bet 325 and only one early position player calls. So we're going heads up to a turn. Turn brings a four of diamonds. My opponent only has 460 left and he puts it all in the middle. And although I don't love it, I can't fold for that price. So I make the call and we're going heads up to a river. Before the river comes out, he asks me if I have spades. I tell him yes, but not good ones. And he says they're probably better than mine. River brings a queen. So I turn over my hand, not too sure about it. And he mucks. So not sure what he had, but I guess he had a lower flush draw, maybe like a pair straight draw combo, but uh, happy to take it down here. I played for about an hour after that queen jack 10 nine hand, nothing really of note, and I decided to rack up. What's up guys, Wayne back here with you. So today I was in for 600, out for 2236, so profit of 1636. If you haven't already done so, check out my previous video, I'll link it up here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.